Okay, on this video, I'm going to give you the total confidence booster or the total confidence builder. And look, you're not going to like it because if you're looking for a simple, soft, easy way, I'm afraid this isn't it. But this works. This is the total confidence builder. And um, it's just... Uh, Developing a skill or a set of skills, that's even better, a set of skills that are highly valued in the marketplace. When you do that, when you become a true master in areas that other people value in the greatest way, then it's the ultimate confidence booster for you. It's uh, It makes you feel so much better about yourself. It's genuine self-confidence. It's not egotism where, you know, you, you know, sometimes confidence and egotism, they look alike because sometimes egotistical people are confident. Sometimes confident people are egotistical. But the difference between the two is that egotistical people that have no real set of skills behind them and all they do is just puff themselves up and go, you know, walk around, you know, uh, pretending they're hot and all that kind of stuff. They've got no real self-esteem. They've got no real confidence. It's all just artificial. The way that you can really feel good about yourself and develop real confidence is put in the time, the work, the effort, the energy, develop the skills. Let me just tell you briefly about why or how I've done this. Look, I've been in the direct response business now for 30 years. This is this is my 30th year. And in the last three decades, I have strived to become the best I can be. Now, my best and somebody else's best might be different. I never claim to be the sharpest pencil in the pencil box. Uh, but I have put in the hours and I've dedicated myself and I've committed myself and I've driven myself to work very, very, very hard to pay the largest price that I can possibly pay. And uh, learning every aspect of sales and marketing, copywriting, uh, direct mail strategy, direct response marketing strategy, selling, and how it all incorporates together, informational marketing, online marketing, every aspect of, of the, the what we now call the direct response marketing business, which encompasses so much. Uh, positioning and and um, where where uh, you know it just feels really 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 good. It feels good when I know that no matter what happens, and I'm not sound. I'm not saying this in a way to brag. I don't want you to think that at all. But uh, but I can make a nice six figure income doing a variety of different things, and that's not that's not bragging. Please. I don't want you to think that I don't like people that sit around or, you know, f you know, trying to show off or brag or anything like that. I've earned my stripes. I've paid my dues. And I'm telling you, that's the only way to really do it. That's the only way to develop genuine confidence is to pay your dues. Feel good about paying your dues. Feel good while you're doing it, while you're burning that midnight oil, so to say, while you're paying that price, while you're working all of those hours, while you're dedicating and committing yourself to becoming the very, very, very best that you can possibly be. Feel good about it. Um, and, and ultimately, you get to this place where man, you change. You know, I used to be so full of fears and insecurities and doubts about myself. I used to just... Um, and, and I would pump myself up. I would be that egotistical kind of person, you know, where, where uh, the great pretender, I call it. There's so many of them out there. Just the great pretenders. But, you know, um, after years and years and years of really dedicating myself and, and, and facing my fears, doing the hard things that I don't want to do time and time and time and time and time again, um, you're facing the fire, so to say. Um, one of my favorite writers, that was, that was his, one of his greatest quotes was, what matters most is how you walk through the fire. Charles Bukowski, what matters most is how you walk through the fire. Well, what does walking through the fire mean? It just means being ready, willing, and able to do whatever it takes at any given time. Facing your fears, doing whatever comes next. Always letting your reach exceed your grasp. Being willing to put in the time, the work, the effort, the energy, the commitment, the dedication. Man, 
the, the, the end result, besides the fact that you can make a lot of money, because that's all I really wanted to do in the beginning. I, you know, I wanted to be the best I could be and all that kind of stuff. But, but ultimately, I just wanted to make a lot of money. But the real reward, the real reward is how you feel about yourself. It's the ultimate confidence booster. So, so the problem is most people are looking for an easier, softer, simpler way. And yes, there are shortcuts. There are shortcut strategies. That's how my wife Eileen and I became a millionaire all those years ago. We worked with a good mentor, uh, Russ von Holscher. Then we worked with other mentors, Dan Kennedy, Gary Halbert. Um, we worked with people that did give us shortcuts. But there's no substitute for hard work. And developing skills means that you have to go through a lot of unpleasant moments in order to that learning curve, so to say. You know, everybody knows what the learning curve is. Nobody wants to go through it. But you have to be willing to go through it. So get on the other side of it, and you're going to have these moments where you just feel so damn good about yourself. And, and the best thing is you know that you've earned it. So I hope something I've said, I know this is a six and a half minute rant here, but I hope something I've said here makes a difference. And if you're one of my clients, I'm very grateful. I am striving to give you the same shortcuts, strategies and methods that other people gave me and ones that we've developed ourselves. And uh, But there's no substitute for hard work. And ultimately, that is the central part of this message. But if you're one of my clients, thank you. If you're not one of my clients, you want to know more about who I am, what I'm, how I can help you, click on the link below. Hope something I've said here has made a difference. Bye for now.